This is the stand-up paddleboard setup that Baron and I got to take him out on the lake. I'm going to go through what we chose, why we chose it, and whatever accessories we had to get along with it. And then I'll show you how we actually used it. The paddleboard, the 12 volt pump, and the dog mat were all bought at REI. Not really cheap, adds up to almost $1,000. The one I chose was the Connolly stand-up paddleboard. The reason I went with this one, for one, it was a little bit wider and a little bit thicker, so it'd be more stable for having a dog up on the front here. Baron's about an 85 pound dog, so I wanted it to be as stable as possible. This one also has kind of a flip up seat. So instead of getting a full kayak, this allows you to use the stand-up paddleboard that way, but be able to sit and just kind of lounge around in it as well. We went with an inflatable because it'll be easier to pack up in its little to-go bag and stick in the back of Baron's car. This will be a lot easier than trying to strap a plastic one to the roof. The gals at REI also said that this one would track a little bit better because it had a little better fin in the back as opposed to some of the other models. Most of these do come with a hand pump, but a friend of mine recommended to get one of these 12 volt inflators and deflators and it makes life a whole lot easier. They also recommended to get a dog board pad. So I bought this, it'll stick to the front of the pad for the dog to sit on. This will do two things. Not only will it give him more grip, but it also protects the actual board. I don't think his claws would go through the material, but I'd rather not take any chances. Okay, we'll actually open the box now and see what we've got. Going to be very careful, of course, not to cut it inside. Here's the one oar that, wait a minute. Here's the oar that comes with it. I have no idea what this is. Oh, I guess that's a, I guess a cord to tie yourself to the board. Here's the air pump. This looks like a ton of work, so I'm kind of glad I bought the 12 volt one. This is the actual board all folded up, I guess, in here. Kind of curious to see what this weighs. Here's my scale. Okay, so it's about 30 pounds. And that's not including the ore. Here's the fin and the instructions. Let's start with the easy thing. I assume the ore should be fairly simple. All right, so honestly, there's no instructions. Sorry, there are instructions, but there's no actual pictures. It's one area they could have done better is they could have shown kind of a pictorial of how to do this. It looks like this clamp comes out. You can slide that in and out, and you place it over. In theory, it stays still. These, I don't know why there's two of them. There's a short one and a long one. I guess it's how long you want the thing. The short option is about five foot. And the longer option is eight foot. So you have a five to eight foot range on your paddle. Here's the actual board, kind of a safety belt or seat belt type buckle here. It holds it all together. So I guess that's how you're supposed to pack it to put it back in the bag. Looks like there's one main air inlet. And then the seat has one in the backrest and one in the flat part. All right, so the first challenge I have is there's a specific twist-in fitting over there, and this has a threaded fitting. This, however, has a smooth fitting with these plastic pieces, but there's no threaded fitting. I'm gonna have to jack with that later. I guess for now, I'm gonna have to take this manual pump as much as I hate to and blow it up that way. It is actually kind of nice though. It's got a gauge up on top. It says very clearly to keep it to about uh, 15 PSI. Fuck that. It's going to take forever to doing that. Thanks to Amazon, I found a Connolly pump and it has the right connector because it's made by Connolly. So that thing should fit right in place. That's going to be a hell of a lot easier than running that pump. The Connolly air pump showed up and now I have the proper fitting on the end of this to go into 
the air socket on the stand-up board. And from this point on, I won't ever have to use a manual pump again. Pretty cool little pump. It's got the inflate and the deflate. So you just plug that into whatever you're trying to do. And if you're trying to blow it up, you can set the pressure to what you want. It has the cigarette lighter adapter and also has an adapter to go to direct to a battery if you want to. I've got this on the inflate port. I've got it plugged into the 12 volt. It says here that it wants 15 PSI. Got it set to 15. Plug it into the port. There we go. And turn it on. You can kind of see it starting to puff up down here. Still faster than that damn hand pump. Got my assistant monitoring the air pressure from that end. Now, just started making more noise. You can see the needle coming up. Did a nice job too. It turned off right around 15 automatically. So that's cool. Put the cap back on. And then I'm not gonna do it now since I'm just trying it in the yard here, but then you would fill up the back seat and the seat cushion there the same way. Shouldn't take near as long for those. Back in the house, let's see what this thing weighs. It says it weighs about 27.8 pounds, fully inflated. Now, here's my dog mat. I gotta figure out how to put that on here. You can see it's got the cords, the bungee cords kind of to put stuff under. It also has these guys for putting your oar through it or paddle, whatever. So I'm gonna have to try to figure out how to cut this around in a way that I can go underneath and cover as much area as I can for bearing. I took a razor and a Sharpie, kind of marked out the pattern. So I've got clearance for those two guys, one for that oar mount and one for this one. So now I'm gonna clean the surface and then stick this guy down. Normally if I degrease something for an adhesive, like on a car, I would use an acetone, but with this being a plastic, I don't want to do something that's going to be corrosive to it. So I'm just going to use a little simple green, wipe it off, and get it clean for the uh, adhesive. The tricky part is we have to get this stuck down underneath the bungee cord. So this is going to take a little bit of finagling and you got to hold your tongue right to do it. What we're gonna do is start peeling the top side, pulling that release liner. I'm gonna try to get it oriented where I want it. Underneath everything. Set, straight, okay. I like where everything's sitting, so I'm gonna start peeling this back a little bit. That started, we know where we wanna end up, now we just gotta roll this liner back underneath here. So make sure it's all laid down well. All the edges are sealed so they don't roll up on you. No wrinkles or anything. Put little air pockets underneath there. And there. There's your dog mat. All right, Baron, this is your seat up here, buddy. Now I'm gonna let this sit and just kind of let the adhesive cure a little bit. And then later on, I'll deflate it with that same pump. And then this should just stick to it. And I'll be ready to actually try to take it to the water for the first time. There's Baron's seat. Now on the bottom side to put the fin in, you take the screw and the square nut off. And there's your fin. See those two pins there? So those go in the middle and slide back and then the, that thing basically so you put that in there the little square nut goes right there so now you just lay this over wing screw or whatever you want to call it there there we go make sure it's snug but don't break anything all right there's your fin so in theory it would be ready to go in the water now now i have the pump connected to deflates in there Turn it on. You can already see it starting to shrink down a little bit. Seems to have all the air out of it and it's not turning off. So I don't know if it's supposed to turn off automatically or not. I guess not. I'll just shut it off. All right, first day trying it. I've got the paddle assembled in a short paddle form because I'm gonna try it sitting down. I think the longer form would be if you're standing up. Got my mesh bag, got my aqua socks, got the attachment cord, the fin, Baron's life jacket, my PFD. Got my PFD around the waist. <laughs> yes, I'm childish, but anybody else think it's funny that it says jerk to inflate right there? <laughs> I 
I'll let Baron swim for a little bit first. It kind of helps wear him out so he sits still on the board. It's easiest to get him on the board while it's close to the shore so he doesn't have too far to climb up to it. And the handle on the life jacket really helps. You just have to be careful about the fin getting caught on the rocks until you're far enough out. This whole setup worked really great on the lake. Uh, Baron enjoyed it. He laid there content on the front. Really can't think of any suggestions I'd do differently. Maybe a double-headed oar, just because I ride it more like a kayak, that might make it a little easier. Other than that, everything worked perfectly. I just connected the double drawstring to the straps on the seat. Worked really well. Baron seemed to enjoy it. Now what the hell is that hole for? It's for what I think it is. I feel bad for who designed it if that's your point of reference for size. And when you're done, you just roll it all up. I start with the other end and leave the fin part on the bottom. So it doesn't, I think it makes it more of a compact roll. And then you've got your bag lying there. Put it in and carry it to wherever you're gonna go. Remember to let it dry out before you roll it up and put it in the bag or you'll be able to lick it for medicinal purposes. And now it's all in one convenient package with this bag. I've got the fin in there, I've got the paddle, I've got the mesh bag uh, with the PFD in it, and the compressor stays in the back of the car. So it's really easy to just grab this, the dog, get in the car, and go to the lake. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to learn more about how to enjoy amazing machines like this.